Next up, Small Business Saturday. Michelle Fiore has more on some of the deals that you'll be able to find tomorrow. Well, you know, Greendale is one of those places with cute, quaint shops. And as small business owners gear up for Small Business Saturday, they're ringing in the holidays, lighting a Christmas tree, and handing out fun party favors. Sue Hayes is a fan of the small business shopping experience and a repeat customer. Just quaint and a um, little bit of everything here. Now, it doesn't look like you're getting all the craziness of the typical Black Friday shopping experience. We're not. It's wonderful. We, we pulled right up, found a place to park. Greendale shop owners do not expect anywhere near the rush these big boxes see on Black Friday, but sales will go up. It's, it's a lot of fun. The fitting rooms get pretty fit, uh, busy. Three years ago, American Express coined the term Small Business Saturday and it's stuck. Yes, thank you, American Express. Um, last year, Small Business Saturday was my largest day of the year. Well, customers tell us they don't shop in small businesses for the sales necessarily. They come in for the specialty items. Check this out. We've got handmade coasters. And right over here, there is a North Woodsy style table with fish in the middle. And Schimmel can't offer deep discounts, but her specialty shop does have something the bigger stores do not. I don't have 30 inch television sets for $100. I don't have anything like that, so I don't have doorbusters. People come into the store and they find that perfect gift that they've been looking for and they can't, couldn't find anywhere else. Again, to stress, Small Business Saturday is a laid back shopping experience. Stores here will open at their usual time. In Greendale, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4.